welcome back folks uh i gotta watch which saws are running where because uh i did not get oil so i could fill up the can but i got less than a tank in the g660 i think in here maybe enough for that but i do have three cans of the Husk Verna fuel in a can. I think VP makes it. I'd have to check the can. I haven't looked at it since I bought the 550. It's sitting right over there. So I'll run that fuel if I need to. Uh, if I'm going to be keep running that saw. Uh, I'm going to try to get the rest of this log pile. Try to get the rest of this log pile done. I'm down to the last 16 feet plus of it. F is squared off, it'd be a, about 16 by 5, 16 long, 5 high. Yeah, so it's like maybe 5 feet above the runners, maybe 4. I haven't measured it, but I got a little, I'm going to have to do some cutting, to stop, toss, because I don't have a whole lot of room to work with. There's only, <laughs> there's the logs are right on top of where the, rounds are gonna go that's because there's a mound of dirt and stuff like right there that's not a stump that's dirt so and i really gotta watch where i'm putting the bar in there because my dremel tool is not fully charged so i may have enough to sharpen the echo at least once so but i got a hand file for the other saws so let's see. Yeah, that'll work. See how that works out.
it's a terrible pain, folks. Ah, guys can identify with it. When I was up on top there doing the log pile, I didn't see the little stick in the way, and it flicked me right in the day, right in the man clangers. Oh, first the severe injury working out here. Oh, yeah, it, it hurts. So back to the wood pile. So I did three quarters of a tank between uh, when my dad was here and made a few cuts. So I have maybe a quarter tank left. I was right in the groove cutting right up on top there. And uh, then I got hit. So I'm going to let you go, folks. Heal up, get hydrated, and continue on tomorrow or later this afternoon if the rain lets up.